I designed bevel gears with FreeCAD. Hey guys, Jacques here. A while back I did a tutorial with Fusion 360 about making those gears and I wanted to see if I could make the same gears with a FreeCAD. First I'm going to look into the geometry on how to place the gears and then do the actual gears. This was the first gear I got but it's kind of missing a little bit of teeth and this is the actual finished gear. So looks pretty good. This is a module 5 12 tooth involute gear. The profile of that tooth matches the one of the of the gears here. I'm going to take one of those gears off and put the one that I just made with FreeCAD. And we can see it works just perfect. That was an interesting design experience and, and it turned out really good, so that's great. To design a set of bevel gears, the first thing we need is some geometry. So I'm going to do some geometry. Take the XY plane to start. And here I'm going to put line. It's going to be the radius one pitch circle then a circle here and dimension this it's going to be 7.5 and the circle is going to be 15 okay close going to a second sketch on the XZ plan. Okay. Shift this so you see what's going on. New radius from that point and a circle. Dimensions are going to be the same, 7.5. Okay, circle, diameter, 15. Okay, close. One more sketch, this time on the YZ. Have my two circles here. I need, I'm going to do a square that will join the contact point and the center of the two circles. Square here. Okay. Main dimension this 7.5. Okay. And this. Five. Okay. I'm going to put one more line from this corner, this corner, and then dimension those angles. It's a reference, but it's going to be all constrained. This and this reference again. So here we have all the geometry for a set of bevel gears, the two circle pitch circles, and when they join, this is going to be the apex. The apex is the meshing point of the geometry of both gears, this gear, this gear. And this is going to be the construction angle 45 and 45 of both gears since they're the same. Okay, I can close. I'm going to do a new body and in this body I'm going to make gear 
it's not at the right place. Placement slide seven point five. And then there'll be the meshing gear here. So I'm going to it go back. Maybe there's another way to do it. No. Back to care. Have my mission gear here. Now I need to place it. Ninety degree. Then I need to move it on Z. 7.5 okay so there's a couple of things to note here the pitch circle is going to be on the back side of the gear when it's generated so module times the number of teeth 15 here half of the diameter is going to be our radius here who is going to be the side of this square 45 degree the pitch angle it's this angle here, 45 degrees. And then the height, it's actually the height from here to here. The goal of this demo is to understand the relation between the two pitch circles that are tangent at this point, and the distance for the plane of this circle to the apex, and the plane of this circle to the apex. Once you understand two pitch circle apex relation, you can do any type of bevel gears. The square will become a rectangle, and that's the only difference really. The last thing to do is some trimming on these gears, so I'm going to show you how to make this. This is what I want my finished gear to look like. So my gear is going to be module 5, it's module 5 here, 12 teeth here. I'm going to add a little bit of backlash, so I'm going to do 1 divided by 12 times 1 and a half, so 1 divided by 24. 12 by 5, that's 60, that's going to be my pitch circle here. And this is going to be the tool to cut this gear to get a gear that looks like this one when finished. I'm going to show you the sketch. That's how the sketch is going to interact with the gear. You can see that it's missing something here. We'll see it later. I'm going to hide the gear by pressing the space bar. Now we have that sketch. Let's tilt it a little bit. So that's the pitch circle. Radius 30, distance from the center to the apex 30 millimeters. We have 12, 10 millimeters in front of the pitch circle and 4.45 on the back side of the circle. That's the height of the tooth, 5 millimeters. Uh, it's the module from the pitch circle to the top of the tooth, the module 5. Distance from the pitch circle to the root, it's 1.25 times 5, so 6.25. Close, and task revolution I have that tool okay I'm going to show the gear again so I have this tool in one body the body tool I'm going to do the gear body active then I'm going to do a boolean and then I'm going to add this body and I'm going to do common Okay, and here's a gear with a hole. So like I said, it's going to be missing some material because that's the gear I want. See the, the tooth has a full height. Here there's only half the height. So how do we do that? I'm going to delete the boolean. Then I'm going to go to the gear, data, and I'm going to change the, I'm going to change the gear. So that's going to get a little bit experimental, but I think it's going to work. 
First we need to see that the gear comes pretty much at the top here. So I'm going to make a bigger gear. So I'm going to double the size, just so it makes it easier. So I'm going to put module 10. I'm going to change the height, like, I'm going to start with 40. And then I'm going to change the placement here. Since I double the size, I'm going to move it, the value of the radius that I used to have, so minus 30 down. Now, the height is not enough, so I need to change the height. Back to the gear, height, I need to increase it a little bit. Okay, now I have the top of the gear. I'm going to do a boolean again. Make sure the body is active. Pull on. And it's not working. I'm going to try again the opposite way. Make the tool body active. Pull on. Add the gear. Common. Okay. Here it is. It worked. I'm going to export as a STL. and print it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.